Open Heavens on the Go, Monday, August 3rd, 2020. Topic, Remember Lord's Wife, 1. Remember Lord's Wife, 1. Memory Verse, Luke 17, 32. Remember Lord's Wife, Luke 17, 32. Bible reading, 1 Corinthians 10, 1 to 11. Moreover, brethren, I will not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But with many of them God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples, to the intent we should not lust after evil things, as they also lost it. Neither be ye idolaters, as we are some of them. As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed and fell in one day, three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents, neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happened unto them for examples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. The Message it is popularly said that experience is the best teacher. There are two ways to learn from experience, either personally or through that of others. I prefer to learn from the experience of others because learning from mine can be painful. In Luke 17, 32, Jesus told us to remember Lord's wife. In other words, he said we should learn from her experience. When I was a little boy, I used to see my elder brother as a very strong man. He was muscular and could carry heavy things. One day, he offended our father, and he beat that brother of mine so much that he shed tears like a baby. On seeing that, I determined that I would never do anything to offend my father because I didn't want to get flogged by him. Samuel learned from Eli. He knew it was because the children of Eli were tampering with the offering and polluting the house of God that they were rejected. Hence, throughout his life and with the help of his children, he never polluted the altar of God. In 1 Samuel 12, 3-4, he said, Behold, here I am, witnessed against me before the Lord and before his anointed. Whose ox have I taken? Or whose ass have I taken? Or whom have I defrauded? Whom have I oppressed? Or of whose hand have I received any bribe to blind mine eye therewith? And I will restore it you and they said thou hast not defrauded us nor oppressed us neither hast thou taken aught of any man's hand many christians will be living better life today if only they learned from the experience of the bible characters they read of have you learned from samson that fornication can turn a mighty man to a piece of bread Proverbs 6, 26. 
Have you learned from Gehazi that the love of money can only bring everlasting shame? Have you learned from Ananias and Sapphira that lying to the Holy Spirit is suicidal? Have you learned from Judas Iscariot that secret sin will lead to public disgrace? Is there anything you are doing now that has led to the destruction of someone in the past? For your own good, desist from such and seek God's grace or forgiveness while you still have the opportunity to do so. Prayer point. Father, please help me never to offend you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Bible reading in one year. Nahu 1 to 3. Him for today. I have decided to follow Jesus. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.